more than three strides, I tend to not walk the distances. I worry about getting a quality gait, riding the quality gait, and letting them get to the jump. If it's three or four strides or less, I'll step it out to see if it's going to be longer or shorter. But I still land and worry about the canter or the gallop, and I let the horse do the jumping. Any questions on this one? and their legs are three foot plus high, so they're landing at 45 degrees-ish, they've got to get the whole body up there, right? Otherwise, they, they jump up normally, they land like that. I'm not sure if you've ever seen a horse chest the back, but jump up, and they don't have the landing gear there. They've got to jump up and land like that. So their whole body has to jump up like a round about a seven foot um, jump. Even a little three foot bank. A three foot bank's like a six foot jump. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to be really, really back to the front end is free to come up and really kick that front end up so they can rotate up and jump up. Yep. Do you expect to see anyone take the option, maybe with a younger horse, in light nope. of what happened with Mandiba? Because if you take the option, if you jump up there, you, you, you can't get up the A without proceeding to the B. The black flag option is there in case you stop up there. So you don't have to come up the bank and try and represent to that. You uh -huh. have to go back okay. around and do the B to the C. Okay. So anywhere where you can't get to the, uh, an element of the jump, they always have the black flag. They have to have it off the side. Okay. There's no way to get back to there without having the jump up between two ways. Okay. So that's, so that's, why that's why the flag's back over here. Where is it? It's actually a...